men still use paper? <laughs> Where's Corky when I need him? <laughs> hey, first I want to thank uh, Bill and Don Davidson. I mean, uh, th that, that video was spectacular. Their agreement to chair this uh, event, which is the first time ever in San Diego, is really spectacular. <laughs> Help me say thank you to Bill and Don. Okay, Marco, ready to get started? Yep. Okay. Marco, I'm honored to be installing you as chairman of the 2013 Board of Directors. The office of chairman is one that carries with it the highest honor as well as the highest responsibility. Accepting this office and performing the duties will require commitment, energy, and enthusiasm. As chairman, you must demonstrate your total commitment to the goals of the association treating your own personal interests and views as secondary. You must project an image of integrity in the community as a spokesman of the association and the building industry in general. You must respond to the needs of the members and you must support and encourage your fellow leaders, helping them realize their potential to serve the association and the industry. And you can with the cooperation and support of your fellow members, leaders, and leaders, achieve any goal you set before this association. So, you ready to make it official? Yep. As I said, my, and my favorite son-in-law, thanks Roger, you stole my line. <laughs> His only son-in-law. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Marco, please raise your hand and repeat after me. I, Marco Sesa, do solemnly swear. I, Marco Sesa, do solemnly swear that I will faithfully perform the duties and responsibilities of chairman that I will faithfully <laughs> perform <laughs> perform the duties and responsibilities of chairman of the Building Industry Association of San Diego County of the Building Industry Association of San Diego County in accordance with its bylaws and policies in accordance with its bylaws and policies and will to the best of my ability and will, to the best of my ability, uphold the principles and purposes upon which it was founded. Uphold the principles and pur purposes <laughs> upon which it was founded. Okay, Marco, congratulations. It's now official. You are the 2013 chairman of the board of the San Diego. <laughs> Wow. Tonight sure provides for a range of emotions. In a few short minutes, I found myself filled with excitement for the year ahead as I watched the promotional video for PCBC, to then being filled with nerves as, as being sworn in by my father-in-law, <laughs> my favorite father-in-law. <laughs> it's an interesting ride, but with a challenge, I cannot get out of my head the line from the video we just watched. Did Glenn Erith really say rice a roni? That's baloney. Guac is where it's at. How do I follow a serious speech with a serious speech? Well, I'm going to do my best. But before I get started with the heart of my speech, I want to thank a number of people. I'm lucky to have in the audience almost all the women in my family that are truly special to me. Ladies, there are some flowers coming. Uh, please accept these flowers as a token of my appreciation for all your support. There's five of you here tonight. My, and, and ladies, this is not in order or of importance, but... <laughs> My, my mom, who came in to, uh, yesterday from Colorado. My, my mother-in-law, also my favorite mother-in-law. Uh, my sister-in-law, who's sitting, unfortunately, not at our table, but right next to us. And uh, obviously my wife, which I'm going to say a few words about a little bit later. 
And then my daughter, who happened to be here, which is pretty exciting for me to have her here tonight. Thank you. Well, I'm blessed to get to work with two guys that I admire tremendously. Tom, who just installed me, is not only my favorite father-in-law, but an inspiration and mentor to me. You're truly a great man, well-deserving of the Hall of Fame award you'll be receiving in June. Thank you. And Colton, it's often, it isn't often that one has a brother-in-law that one can truly call one of your closest friends and then also get to be business partners. I can't t express in words just how much fun it is to work with you. I've learned a tremendous amount from you and I'm excited at the great things that we're going to accomplish together. Thanks for being such a great partner and brother. Yeah. You know, the, the three of us at Sudbury Properties have a great group of people working for us. You know, in fact, the two guys sitting over here both actually wore white, so appreciate that. And, um, you know, the people that work for us are the ones that really make a difference. And you've done a great job with all the help tonight. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah. uh, in this, during the fall, Nancy Diamond of the BIA staff celebrated her 20 years anniversary. <laughs> and in, in, a, in a speech to us, she said, you know, this is the best staff in her 20-year tenure. And I want to echo what Guy said earlier. They are what makes this organization. You guys are tremendous. Thanks to all the folks here at the U.S. Grant for making tonight special. Thank you to Allegra for the beautiful music that you played while we were sitting. And um, also want to congratulate Dave Hammer for that prestigious Hall of Fame award. I, I, too, am a civil engineer, but I don't think I'm quite as funny. No. <laughs> You're extremely deserving of the award, and your dedication to the industry is truly an inspiration. I also want to thank Guy Asaro, last year's chairman. Thank you for your introduction speech and really highlighting all the accomplishments of last year. Your contributions to this association we're better today than we were a year ago. Thank you. <laughs> Finally, I want to thank the 2013 board. It is my pleasure to serve as your chairman, and I will do everything I can to make us successful this year. You are ex all extremely talented, and I look forward to serving with you. And then to all of you in the audience, thank you for your confidence. I'm honored to serve as the chairman of the board of directors of the BIA San Diego in its 75th year. But tonight, it's not about me. And it's not about the talented board I get to work with. Tonight is about all of you in this audience. It's an honor to be in a room surrounded by survivors. The last five years have challenged this industry and this association. We're working longer hours. We're doing more with less. We're wearing a number of different hats and stretching every dollar farther than ever. Why? Because we believe that with hard work comes great opportunity. Many of you know, may, may not know, but I was born in Chile and immigrated to this country when I was eight years old. My mom, who I love very much, but unfortunately I don't tell you very often. I'm sorry, mom. She knew that there was no country in the world better than the United States. She knew. She knew that with hard work as a single mom, she could raise two kids and provide them with every opportunity they could ever hope for. The freedoms and opportunities offered to the people of this great country mean that whatever we dare to dream, and are willing to sacrifice to achieve, we can do. The destiny of every U.S. citizen lies in our dream, in our willingness to dream and work to achieve those dreams. Unfortunately, the number of naysayers and skeptics is growing, 
and our country is growing through a transformation away from these principles. Now more than ever, it is our burden to prove that the American dream is still alive. Without innovation and hard work, San Diego would not be the city it is today. 75 years ago, when our BIA was founded, San Diego was recovering from a protracted economic downturn and construction was just starting to heat up. The San Diego Union quoted Frank Lloyd Wright as saying, American life and economy needs rebuilding. Does that sound familiar? Construction-wise, 1938 in San Diego was a momentous time. The new San Diego Civic Center, now the County Administration Center, celebrated its grand opening. Construction had started on the San Diego Police Headquarters in La Jolla Cove. Lane Field was recently completed, and the construction of Harbor Drive was near to reality when the Navy showed readiness, readiness to grant the right-of-way for the road. The country's focus in 1938 was on construction as a way to lead the country back to prosperity. Regrettably, that's not the case today. We face increasing regulatory burdens that not only threaten our livelihood, but undermine the basic principles of hard work and opportunity that motivated my family to come to this country. We have an obligation to build this country back up again. A great San Diegan, John D. Spreckles, spoke, said in 1923, and I quote, if the young, red-blooded, progressive businessmen of the city will and only get together and stick together, nothing will be too big to expect for San Diego. Cooperation and team play can and will lead us anywhere. Discord and petty jealousy will get us nowhere. Perhaps, had we followed this advice, you know, while we had some successes in our election, last year's general election may have turned out differently. Perhaps, we might have a new convention center and hotel on the Chula Vista Bayfront. Perhaps, we might even have a new NFL stadium. We have a long way to go to get membership in the BIA back to where it was before the recession. It's critical that everybody in this room help recruit and retain members. Just as John Spreckles advice, we must work together to do so. We welcome any ideas you have to increase membership. But most important, we must ensure that our employees all understand that we as leaders of our company support and encourage membership to this great association. A big focus of my tenure as chairman this year will be focused on increasing membership. We don't have the benefit of involuntary contribution of, from our employees as labor unions do. And just like our businesses, at least those of us who have survived the downturn, the San Diego BIA has managed to remain effective despite serious budget constraints. But with increased membership and more volunteers, the BIA can help provide more opportunities for this industry. We are grateful to the founders of the BIA San Diego. They understood that when we work together, we can overcome regulatory hurdles that undermine our industry. We're grateful to the thousands of companies and volunteers that have been contributed time and money to this association since 1938. We're grateful to the past presidents and chairmen whose leadership has made this association what it is today. But most of all, as I said earlier, we're grateful to you, the membership of this association. We're ready to move forward with respect to the past and regard to the future. Let's make 2013 a milestone in development in San Diego so when people look back 75 years from now, they will say they rose to the occasion with the full measure of their devotion. I am proud of civic projects like the new San Diego Central Library and the North Embarcadero Visionary Plan. I'm proud of new communities built by our member companies such as the Corky McMillan Company's Liberty Station and Millennia, Party Homes Pacific Highlands Ranch, Standard Pacific's Del Sur, Home Fed San Alijo Hills, and our own company, Savita. I could go on. <laughs> I could go on, the list is much longer, but I know you all want your desserts. <laughs> and also, 
ready to get downstairs where dessert will be to get your groove on. <laughs> but before I conclude, let me finish by reminding you. Once again, you've seen the video, but that San Diego will be the center of national real estate attention this June as the PCBC comes to town. I would be remiss if I didn't thank a number of local industry veterans who were instrumental in getting PCBC to San Diego. Bob Cummings, Sherm Harmer, Steve Doyle, and the late Horns Hogan. Thank you. Thank you for giving us an opportunity to show off our great city. And under Bill and Don Davidson's leadership, the PCBC conference is going to be something none of you can miss. You know, I had an opportunity to walk the exhibit floor with Don last year. I knew right away that applying the San Diego touch and the Davidson's passion for design, the first PCBC in San Diego would be a hit with everybody. And yes, there's going to be music, alcohol, a lot of good looking people. <laughs> and Bill, you've got great taste in shoes, buddy. <laughs> you know, our BIA San Diego is leading the planning efforts for several components of the conference. We're coordinating one of the housing tours and partnering with CBIA on a CEQA reform form. And on the night on June 5th, we'll be putting on the mix. The mix will be San Diego's version of the Big Bash. I hope to see you all there along with over a thousand of our peers. All economic signs point to this year being better than the last five. So get ready for a great year. And please don't forget that we need all of your help to recruit new members. Hi, honey, Chelsea, my wife, I want to thank you again for just being home to run the house. You know, I spent a lot of time away from home, and without you, none of it would be possible. So thank you. Now, this year also, probably a little more too. <laughs> Ladies, just one more year. Ladies and gentlemen, let's all raise our glasses and toast each other. Toast our great BIA. Here's to the next 75 years and to a great year ahead. I didn't bring a drink. Please join me downstairs, back in the palm room. Dessert, coffee, cocktails, and the big band. Jazz Machine is awaiting. Thank you and God bless.